in this video we are transforming this old farm truck third gen cummins and making it super clean <laughs> Now this thing is a work truck, a farm truck. It is filthy, it's rusty, it's nasty, but it doesn't need to be. So we're gonna give it the detail it deserves and the love it deserves. I'm showing you around right now so you can see the starting point, what we're working with. Tons of caked on dirt, especially in the arches, but just all over this thing, it is nasty. Oh and it doesn't get any better on the inside. I'll tell you that much right now. You can see there is tons of dirt caked in here. Luckily, we have the rubber floor mats. Down here, it's all nasty as well. In the door jams, in these door jams, all of the interior, this is exactly how I got it, minus the uh, microfibers and hoodie that's right there but we gotta clean out all this junk. And here we got some spare change. Backside's got my jacket, but again, more filth. Let's crank this guy up. We have some hard stains in the seat. Tons of dirt, tons of grime, tons of junk back here as well. I guess I can throw this side up so you can see it too got a mega cab so we have plenty of uh, detailing to do let's get it started truck so big we can hardly fit the whole thing in here but hey we're gonna make it work So we got the floor mats taken out. You can see, oh, these things are filthy. Now on to the old truck. So quick update, we got this side done, we got the front done. Haven't really touched much of this side other than the front, uh, cause we ran out of money. So we gotta start swiping the card, cause we still got plenty of filth left that we need to take care of. <laughs> May have gotten a little bit dirty, but man oh man, look at the difference on this thing. It is awesome. It's crazy what just like 15 bucks uh, because this is such a big truck and it was so filthy, uh, can do for a car wash in terms of appearance and value and all of that. That's what I go over in the marketing and the detailing programs that I have that are linked down below if you're interested in starting your own biz and learning how to get paid doing this. But it's crazy, like the floor mat's so much nicer. The whole truck, so much nicer. And now in terms of rust, we know exactly 
what we're working with, what parts are bad, where we need to sand down, how bad the body actually is, if there are scratches, what needs buffed and polished and all of that. But I mean, just looking from out here, for being an older truck with a quarter million miles, this thing is amazing now. I'm so excited to get onto the interior, which is coming up next. I already sprayed down the door jams. Uh, normally I wouldn't do that, but it's so filthy. But we got all this crap to clean now, so let's get into it. Cruising on home, and I just checked out myself in the mirror and realized how filthy I am, how filthy this truck made me. But hey, at least the filth is on me. I can take a quick shower and not on this thing. The water's beating off the windshield. Looking real nice. We're about to harvest some corn out here in Indiana. So the harvest is looking pretty. The crop is looking nice. And we are headed home to get started on the interior. Okay, so now onto the interior. Really quickly, I'll show you again in more detail just how filthy this thing is. All the edges are uh, super dirty with caked in micro dirt, I guess. Uh, and then you have all this big stuff, obviously, as well. They left just a plethora of stuff. The only stuff that's mine is over here. Got the pitters as well as some microfibers. Um, but all of this stuff was left. All of this was left. And fun fact, I found $2,000 worth of checks. They're right here. Obviously, I don't want to show it to you uh, for privacy. But uh, I messaged the seller. He said, just trash them, burn them. Um, obviously, I have nothing to do with them. And then moving on to the back, you can see it was just a utility truck. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. And we gotta get rid of that because it's all garbage. All garbage. As well as what's down here. Gotta sort through that, get the good stuff, trash the trash. And that is what we are up to right about now. Some of this stuff I end up finding and keeping as spares, but other stuff like broken cup, it just goes. So now we've got all the big stuff out, keeping that. The rest was trash and you can see, oh, nasty, 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 nasty. So time to grab the vacuum and get going on this back section. Check this out. This is so much better than it was before. Doesn't have all the junk, all the gunk. Well, there's still the gunk because this is the quick preliminary vacuum. Uh, just picking up the big particles. I grabbed everything out by hand that wouldn't fit in the vacuum. Then I go through with the vacuum, grab all the big particles, and then I'll go down and use products to get the stains out, agitate the edges to get all of the little stuff, and stuff like this. But, I mean, already with just a quick vacuum, it looks so much better. So, let's get on to the actual detailing portion, not just the cleaning.
right, so now the back is looking mighty clean, but we have issues up here. Still cluttered, still filthy, and more clutter. So, I'm gonna grab all the junk out of here and then start on the front, which is always the more difficult part, unless it's a minivan with kids. Oh, and one more thing that I forgot to mention is how bad this truck smells. I mean, if this justifies how bad, how rank the smell is. It's a farm truck, so you'd expect it. But man, this thing, PU. So we'll get it smelling nice as well. All right, I've got all the trash disposed of. This is what we're working with in terms of having everything out now. We'll do the quick vacuum and then get on to the nitty gritty detail.